Hey, Trent Nate here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over, just give you this demo. I'm gonna go over some of the things that we talked about, some of the things that felt were important to you, and if there's anything that I need to maybe dive deeper on at a later time, you know, I could definitely do that. Uh, so let me just get started here. Uh, what you're looking at when you first log in, this is this would be like basically the people panel. This is all the users that would be on, on the system itself. Um, and all the users would have access to this. So I believe you said you had about 12. So, um, you know, all 12 would be would be shown here. You can group them differently. So if you had an outside sales group, inside sales, support, customer service, you'd be able to define them in different groups. Um, and then if you needed to, um, you know, kind of see that view better or more condensed, then, then you can do so. You can also interact with them. Uh, base just click on these three dots you can intercom with them you can leave them a voicemail you can conference with them uh, you can also call them whoops don't want to do that um, if you wanted to mark them as a favorite you can do so as well and then they'll be shown here okay so this is basically just um, you know uh, collaborating with your with your users Here's your chat panel. So any archive chats that you need to look at, they would be shown here. You can also delete them so they would leave the archive chat section. Uh, you can create meetings, you can create web meetings, you can do audio meetings, and you can link it with your Google Calendar so it all integrates together. Call history and then uh, a panel so this is this would be your call agent panel so different if there was any calls going on you'd be able to see them here you'd be able to see who's on them um, if you're part of a queue you know uh, if there's a group of people that are receiving calls then then they would be shown here and you can log them in and out as well of course depending on the different rights and rules that are assigned to each user some would have access to more or less and that's all at uh, your guys's discretion um, and then here's just you can create contacts you can search for contacts add a contact uh, it also integrates with you know your crm uh, you can access your voicemails and then just different settings here Okay, so let's go back to the people panel, and I know what, what else was important is the SMS. So what I'm going to do is my user is part of a group of customer service. Okay, so let's just say your toll-free number had SMS, which sounds like it does. So I'm going to shoot a, a message to it. So I'm texting from my cell phone right now. And I just hit send. And there, now here pops up. So this is a contact, right? So it, it notices, it's going into our CRM. And just because it's my cell phone, it, it, it knows that it's me, right? So it's come, it's uh it's linking my phone number with my CRM and so it knows that it's me. It says it's Nathan Williams because that's me. Um, otherwise it would have the phone number or if it matched a, a contact, it would have their name here. Okay, it's just in this circumstances, this is my extension or my user account on our 3CX and it's also my cell phone. So it's Nathan Williams essentially talking to Nathan Williams. Um, so I texted, hello, looking for information. Hi, how are you? And I hit send and then it goes back to my cell phone. Great. Okay. All right. And then it shows up here. So different things I can do because I'm part of a this would show up on all your users, right? So all your users would be able to see this that are part of that that group, that groups that able that's able to receive SMS from you know that toll free number that you have. I can 
take it. So now it's basically assigned to me. So I'm going to do that. So I take it. The chat was taken. It logs it. Okay. Now, um, basically, it's it's uh, tied to me. So this would now integrate with your Salesforce because we use Zoho for our CRM. And I can show you that as well. So it would be similar. Obviously, the interface would look different because it's Salesforce. But now, if I needed to transfer this, let's just say, you know, we were talking to customer service. Now they needed support. I can transfer this to, you know, the other agents that are available. Okay. So that's how the SMS would work. Now let me bring up my CRM. Okay, now when this gets logged into the CRM, so in my case Zoho, it's after it's dealt with. All right, so I'm closing this conversation. It is now dealt with. And now I logged into my CRM and I looked at my closed tasks and I see 3CX phone system chat. I click on it. I see the whole little history of it, right? Hello, looking for information. Again, this is me talking to me. Uh, how are you? Great. Chat was taken by 752. That's my extension number. And then chat session was dealt with, which then sent it over to my CRM for log. So now I can go into my archive and I can see previous conversations. And just to... Um, elaborate on a little bit more functionality this also this also can be used on you know android or iphone um, to do so all you'd have to do is click this it brings up your qr code you would download the app and then you would just scan it and then you have that access um, you know you have your extension essentially or your account on your phone okay So that's it in a nutshell. Um, you can make calls from here. Shows my status that I'm on a call. I'll ring my phone here. There it is ringing. I answer it. Uh, let's go to the panel. You can see that I'm on a call. You can see how long. You can have I'm going to hang this up. You can have a, you know, a manager can oversee this whole call, the whole call board here. You can have a wall board that shows the time, anybody waiting, average talk time, calls abandoned. That means people that were on hold that never got answered. Um, it just kind of gives you an over an overview of your call status.